I'm a big barbecue chicken pizza fan, but with summer right around the corner, I'm trying to tone down the junk food as many of you guys are as well. I have a great substitute which heavily outweighs the nutrition of the store-bought pizza. First, we're going to start out with a whole wheat pita. Another reason the whole wheat pita is better is because it will keep you fuller longer because it has whole grains that take longer to digest. Also, if you're having problems with your regularity, the fiber in the pita will help as well. First, we are going to start out with one tablespoon of regular barbecue sauce or two tablespoons of light barbecue sauce. Sauce typically packs a lot of calories in a small amount, so always be aware of this. Personally, I like sauce and I think the more the better. So I'm going to stick with the light and use two tablespoons. Another problem with store-bought pizza is that the pizzas typically have a lot of bread or crust, essentially the cheap part of the pizza, and not nearly enough of the nutritious toppings. The pizza we're going to make is going to have plenty of chicken. We are going to use four ounces or about one half cup of chicken. A lot of people say the palm of your hand is about four ounces, but since my palm is much bigger than my mom's and not as big as my dad's, that doesn't seem very reliable. So let's just stick to comparing four ounces of meat to the size of a deck of cards. Next, we are going to add one fourth cup of fat-free cheddar cheese, and a lot of places don't have it shredded. So always look for the slices as well. Add a thin slice of red onions, now slide it in the toaster oven for about 4 minutes on 350 or in a normal oven for 6 minutes on 350. The oven will make for the best taste since it will give the pita a nice soft and slightly crispy taste. I know some of you guys are really in a time crunch and if this is the case hurry and add the chicken, cheese and onions to a plate and microwave it for about 30 seconds. Then add it to your pita with barbecue sauce on top. Throw it back in the microwave for about 15 seconds more to soften the pita and this is something that takes no time and is super tasty. Also, if you're looking for a low carb option, split the pita in half and this will reduce the carbs by almost 50%. Since I'm using the light barbecue sauce, I actually am using two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon on the pita and then I'm gonna wait to put the other tablespoon on after it comes out of the oven. Now we're gonna get it just like this, and then what we're gonna do is snip the tip off, and then voila, we'll have something to squeeze it nice and finely over the top of the pizza. This is gonna be delicious, and it's great and easy to serve as appetizers, even on the go meal. I mean, hey, that looks a heck of a lot better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mmm. Now for the nutrition breakdown. I took my favorite slice of barbecue chicken pizza and then I formulated a healthier recipe with a whole wheat pita to reduce some calories, up the protein, lower the carbs, add in some whole wheat carbs, and this is all around better option. We took the calories from 510 calories all the way down to 325. We took the fat from 21 grams of fat all the way down to two. And we took the saturated fat from seven grams down to zero. We took the carbs, which were white processed carbs at first. We took them from 49 grams down to 37 of whole wheat carbs. The protein went up from 27 grams up to 42 grams. And the sodium stayed relatively the same. We lost about 20 milligrams. The most important thing we did today was reduce that saturated fat. If you guys like this video, subscribe, leave us the thumbs up, and comment below.